All right, so another week of selling. This time we had the Columbus Day weekend, which was actually which was pretty good. During the week was kind of slow, but uh, for the Columbus Day weekend, it was we did pretty good, um, especially if you um, count Monday in as part of that um, weekend. I did like four hundred bucks on I think, ten things. I took a picture. I forgot. I took a picture of the total, and I already forgot forgot what it was. I didn't check before I started the video, but it was def it was about four hundred bucks, which for me is a very good weekend. Yeah, eleven items for four hundred and ten bucks on the main account, which is very good. Uh, so we're gonna start off with this um dog harness sold out on offer thirteen forty nine, except for the buyer got this yesterday and then um s s sent me a message that. Um, it wasn't new. It had, you know, it was covered in it was covered in hair, and then it smelled. Um, this was something I was selling for my aunt, who t said they were new. But then I found out, um, like the night earlier in the night before I got that message that, like, she did have tried them on one, you know, put them on the dogs like once and didn't like didn't like it or whatever. And then, um, you know, just kind of was just gonna sell them off. But didn't tell me, but didn't tell me that beforehand, so I didn't um, actually check them. Because um, then, if I knew it had, you know, if it had hair on it, I could have taped, you know, put used tape or and got the hair off, and then just put in the description, you know, tried, you know, you, you know, put on once or whatever. But no, didn't tell me that. So the buyer sent the message. I'm like, well, great, whatever. It's a fifteen dollar item that they got for thirteen forty nine. And the buyer pays return shipping. I mean, it, it's not worth for the fifteen bucks. It's not worth sending it back to me. Whatever, I just refunded them and whatever. Um, and it was, I kind of just called it, called it at that. But this is also the cheapskate buyer who originally sent me the offer, wanting it for ten dollars. So ten dollars free ship, and they're going, and they're, and they're in California. So you know. Not a good deal at all, and I told them no. I'm holding off for the 15, and then I sent the offer out at uh, 13.49, and they took it. So it's always the low value. It's always the low value sales that always cause the biggest problems. Uh, even to they said they were getting it as a gift. I'm giving we're gonna give it as a gift too. So I just sent them the money back. Told them keep it, do whatever with it. You know, I want no more. I don't want to deal with you anymore. So I'm hoping that's not going to be a, the problem. Going to be a problem with the other one, which was part of the weekend sales. So I guess we'll find out in a couple days when it gets when it arrives. <sighs> All right. Next is this, uh, ten Tennessee ambulance uh, technician EMT paramedic, five ninety nine. Next is this, uh, Lego City construction uh, for forty free ship. This was uh, the first one I got uh, from the first set of Legos. Uh, next is Buffalo Fire, three ninety nine. Uh, next, is these two sold together. These, uh, this Philadelphia Engine thirteen, and then this Engine thirty one for three ninety nine a piece. Next was this, uh, Wagner Flexio twenty five hundred uh, paint and stain sprayer for forty bucks plus fifteen ship, which is pretty good. Uh, although it sold to a person with, like, no f no feedback, and I think it was a brand new account, so that's not good, but we'll find out in a couple days here. Um, it was part of the, uh, Home Depot palette. Um, and I have a couple other sprayers still that I need to list still that I have up, that I have up here upstairs. And then there's a bunch of sprayers as well that literally, that still had wet paint in them. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do with those. Uh, if I can clean them up and they're still good or uh, see if I can still clean them up and I still have some other Home Depot stuff too I'm pretty sure I need to list and then I'll have pretty much everything from that listed um, that's worth selling on eBay uh, next is uh, Niagara County uh, emergency medical technician MET I don't know why it's MET for them but Oh, because it's medical emergency technician instead of emergency medical technician like any normal place. So I'll sold that for seven ninety nine. 
Uh, next was a St. Vincent's Paramedic. Uh, and apparently it's in Indianapolis. Sold that for $6.99. Next sold a Super Mario uh, Diddy, Kong, Diddy Kong for $70 free ship. Uh, and it was new other because it was, uh, it's was. it been resealed with packing tape. So you can see right there. Um, the seals on it are broke. Um, it's not sealed and it has this packing tape over it. Um, to actually seal it and I did open it up and everything looks I'm pretty sure everything's there So I just kind of put another little piece on it over the packing tape and um, Disclose that I think I'm not sure if the other two are like the other two or three that I have are like that um, I haven't checked those but I also need to get those couple of Lego listed a few Lego that are left I'm gonna get those um, listed as well, especially since we're going into fourth quarter uh, next was the San Jose, California fire, uh, $9.99 on that. Uh, next was a Wagner, um, eye spray nozzle, uh, sold that for $29.99 plus 12 ship. And you'll see I got sold, I got have, um, three of them that were like in new shape. Perfect. Uh, next, now we're getting into the weekend sales. Next was this um, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks oversized um, Mega Rex 124th scale. Uh, part of the Target Toys by, or, uh, toy palette. There was four monster trucks. Two of them were actually worth putting up on eBay. I put them up there. And the other two were not. Uh, I kind of figured I will. Um, I, those always could be listed. Or I'd either... I'd either end up listing them or giving them as gifts or, you know, I'd do something with them. Uh, but those ended up selling, not in the yard sale, but to the lady who came and bought a bunch of stuff that I talked about last week. She bought the other two um, monster trucks. Uh, next was this Hampton Bay 300 watt um, digital transformer. This one I put as used because it's missing some stuff in the box and uh, the stickers kind of beat up on it uh, on the side here. So I just put it as used plugged it in and it powered on and that, that that's about it and didn't do any further testing or playing around with it um and i got a message from a guy asking if i'd take 35 for it um and i countered back saying that i'd take i'd take 40 for it and he was only and it's only going to new jersey so it i was i knew the shipping sh shouldn't be too bad on it uh so i ended up taking that and he paid um originally i think my original plan was to ship this in its original box, I think. I'm not sure um, what my plan was, but I did end up putting it in another box. Um, I don't really think it needed it, especially since it was only going to New Jersey. It probably would have been fine in the original box, but um, it was like a dollar difference, I think, to give it that extra protection since it was since it was only going to New Jersey, so I just did that. Uh, and then, like I said, here's the other harness. There was a small one and a medium one. Um, so, like I said, 15 free ship on that one as well, and we'll f we'll see how that goes with that one. And then the last thing for the weekend sales, this was on Monday, um, was this Wagner Spray Tech on uh, 915E Steam Cleaner. This one, I see, is used 70 bucks plus 15 ship. Um, this one, uh, definitely, like, again, it was kind of the box was missing some stuff. And I could see on the wallpaper remover tool that it was definitely used. Um, this one, it also is missing the microfiber um, mop head. But I took it out of this one and put it in the other one. Um, and called the other one new. And um, just listed this as used uh, without the... And then uh, put in the description that it's missing the uh, micro... That it's missing the mop head. Mop pad and the wallpaper tool has been used. Um, I kind of just plugged it in and see if it started making noise, and it did. So I just that was kind of like the the, the most testing I did because uh, I didn't have any distilled water, which is what it recommends you use in this to um actually see if it generated steam. So I guess we'll find out if that uh if it does truly actually work. Uh and this one I originally had it set uh set for UPS, uh but decided to pay the extra like dollar fifty. A to not to send it ground advantage to um as a convenience for not having to go uh to ups but i will say with 
with the ground advantage, that definitely saved multiple packages from having to go UPS. Like this would have had to go UPS. Um, this probably would have. This actually originally had it set for UPS as well. Because I figured if it was going um, far away, it would probably need to go UPS. Um, and then maybe the Legos maybe probably would have um, had to go UPS. Because they definitely, unless they were going close, which this one was actually, it was going to Pennsylvania. Um, so the priority mail was only 720, even though this was a fairly big box. Um, if it wasn't for them going local, I'd have to send them UPS. So that's definitely, a, having ground advantage is definitely a lifesaver. Uh, next was another um, eye spray nozzle. I sent an offer out on it, this one for $26.99 plus 12 ship. Uh, and luckily I decided while I was at the storage unit grabbing the other one, I figured, ah, I'll just send an offer out on this. I'll grab one. I'll grab it. It doesn't take up a lot of space. So if it doesn't end up selling, um, it's not a big deal. I'll just uh, put it on the bottom shelf uh, in my room here. And then when the next one sells, I won't have to go to storage. <sighs> next, we have this uh, Georgia Composite State Board of Medical Examiners Paramedic uh, patch for $5.99. The next was I sold was this three-pack of Dove Dry Spray um, deodorant, which I was actually surprised that so quickly I've already sold one of these. This was part of a new, uh, Target palette that I got, which I'll show you at the end of the video. And I should not have bought this palette at all, that's for sure. Um, I seen the deodorant on it, and I'm like, oh, okay, that should sell well. Um, I kind of, I could just see it was degree, like, men's deodorant and, like, a six-pack. So I've, I kind of typed that into eBay and looked at the sell through rate, and it's, you know, a about 100%, I'm pretty sure. It depends on kind of how you word it. Sell through it was about 100%, so I figured, okay. Um, I had just seen the deodorant on it in the preview video, and I was just fixated on it. So I decided I want this palette. And I was getting bored with the other ones. I'd kind of, you know, had blown through most of it already. So I was kind of bored and ready for another palette. So I bought it, and I so should not have bought it. Um... There's not, it's not a palette for an online seller. It's um, definitely more of a palette if you have a retail store or a flea market. Um, it's definitely much better for that. It's a lot of cleaning product that's not very valuable. You know, retail on most of it's five, five, six bucks. So it's not good for an online seller like me. Um, it's not really good for eBay. It's just. It's, there's no money, you know, there's no sell, um, like sell through on it. I don't even think I looked, I don't even think I bothered checking because it's, there's going to be no money in it. You know, there's no way when it's retailing for five bucks, you know, no one's going to go on eBay and pay 15 free ship for it. So I didn't even bother, um, checking it. And I also got a lot of bleach as well, which is not something, and it's target bleach too. It's not even Clorox, it's target bleach. Uh, bleach. Um, I kind of go over in the video um, about it. And there was a ton of degree um, men's deodorant uh, on it. Which is what... There was a ton of that um, degree and then there was a little bit of this Dove aerosol mixed in here as well. So I was totally blown away that I sold one so quickly. But... Uh... Like I said, I kind of explained more of it in the video. I'll put at the end of the end of the vi uh, the video. I'll put in at the end going over that palette. But like I said, definitely not a good buy, not at all. Um, so definitely, like in the springtime, we're gonna have one hell of a spring cleaning yard sale. Uh, that's for sure. So next, we have this uh, Newberry uh, Sheriff's Department uh, for six ninety nine. So that's everything on that account. We'll move on to the second account. Uh, this Blooming Grove Police sold out on offer 539. A lot of stuff sold out on offer on this account. Uh, this Auburn Police sold out on offer 449. Uh, San Francisco Police Hat Patch 499. Uh, this Del High Police uh, Patch sold. The guy sent, uh, sent me a message. Uh, I think I had it listed for $6.99, asking if I'd take 5 for it. I said, sure. 
uh, this Port Chester police sold out on offer 1349. Uh, this Middleport, New York. I think I had it listed for 999. I think the guy originally sent me a message if I take six, I counted back at 70 and he accepted. Um, that was the same guy who bought this Delhi one, but of course he bought it like the day after, so I had already shipped this out. So I had to send it out in two separate uh, envelopes. And then this Marmanek, New York, six ninety nine. And then the last thing was this uh, Ogdensburg police at six ninety nine as well. So that's everything that sold uh, over the uh, Columbus Day weekend and previous week. Uh, so far for this week, haven't had much action either. A uh, couple things. Actually, I think I sh literally showed you everything so far that has sold. Uh, yeah, that's literally everything that has sold. I haven't sold anything today. eBay's been uh, definitely, like I said, kind of slow over the last two weeks, but I also haven't been listing every day because I'm kind of running out of things to list. Um, I mean, I have some stuff definitely that I can scrape together, you know, some stuff left from the Home Depot and the Lego, you know, just finally get everything listed just to be finished off with those. Stop having those loose ends hanging around, but um, I just haven't been listing every day and haven't had a lot of stuff to list, which is also why I wanted another palette because I needed um, some inventory as well. But uh, I'll uh, take the L on that palette and uh, move on and hopefully uh, sometime here soon they will have another um, good palette come up. So that's it for um, this portion of the video. Uh, like I said, I'll send it over to um, uh, previous self of the, uh, and show you off the Target palette I picked. Alright, so I got another palette. Uh, this one's Target. Uh, box damage, kind of like box damage slash oversized. Uh, there was more than this. Uh, this is just what's left now. So what's in these boxes is a bunch of Target bleach. Wonderful. And we got some Clorox disinfecting mist. Kind of just like scattered in I think some of these boxes. This one, yeah, this one they didn't even... Oh, these boxes of freaking bleach are so heavy. Oh. Let me see more bleach. Pretty sure it's all Target stuff. If I had to assume, I'll say I could see the plastic bottles thing, and then I saw this, but I didn't really know what it meant. I didn't know that it was bleach. And then, like with these boxes, I was kind of hoping that it was um, gonna be like high piece count kind of stuff. No, it's just it's just cleaning. It's pretty much all cleaning and deodorant. Lots of deodorant. Which is what caught my attention and kind of why I wanted the palette in the first place. There's all these, um, there are two packs. There are the two twin packs and there's six of them in there. Uh, right? Or it's, you know, there's, there's 12 in here. And there, it's weird how they are because it's the, it's the twin packs. But then they're wrapped up as a six pack. But they're meant to be sold as the twin packs, so. But I got a ton of those. Absolute ton of the degree uh, Arctic Edge, and then there's a couple of um, I don't know if I don't think there's any offhand. There's a couple of Dove aerosol ones, and then there was a Dove um, a stick as well. But it was a couple of aerosols, but it's mostly this degrees men Arctic Edge. Yeah, I gotta be careful opening the door cause an avalanche. As you can see, that's mostly what it was. I think. Just about any dove that was in here I took out already because there was not much of it to begin with. It was kind of just shove deodorant wherever it would fit uh, in whatever gaps or, you know, spaces there was. I say this, there was um, three com or two comforters as well. Those have already pulled out of here. Uh, there's these, whatever the hell this is, category holiday four, whatever that means. I haven't looked, in, um, I haven't looked up the number yet. No, I'm not sure what's in this, but for the most part, I know what's in here. It's just these couple of kind of mystery boxes that I don't, don't quite know what's in them. Um, no, I knew it was over there. And then there's uh, 
like one of these cases of ceramic detailer one of them leaked um which i didn't notice in the preview which was the day before i'm pretty sure there was no leak i'll have to look again but then when i went there and today and pulled the tag for it it had leaked and it got into some of the deodorant boxes that are kind of up here and destroyed the boxes which is not a big deal uh, as you can see and then there's these, there's these um, iPad screen protectors. They're not that great. They're like 12 bucks, free ship. Not the greatest um, thing. So we're kind of going to go through, unload it. Um, yeah, I haven't gone through that box yet. Uh, that's bleach and all that. Um, this is not even all the deodorant. We took already a dolly full out. And I brought it upstairs to keep on hand to go through. Because um, as we unload all the deodorant, i got to count them up. So I know how many I have um, for when I make the listing and make sure they're all the same thing, even though I'm pretty sure they are all the same thing. So 800 bucks plus 70 sales tax. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it on this pallet. That's, this is not, not going to be a home run, I don't think. Um, and then there's these couple of ba uh, baby wipes up there. Like I said, another comforter, more bleach, bleach. Oh, a bunch of this de-icer crap that's kind of worthless. Five bucks retail at Target itself. And a lot of the bottles are kind of dented. Luckily, it's almost winter time, so that I'm hoping it shouldn't be too hard to sell. Um, even locally, maybe on Facebook. So, oh yeah, a little bit of hand sanitizer in that box right there. So, that I think is about it for this pallet. I'll get it unloaded. And uh, get to listing. All right, we got everything unloaded. We have an entire shelf of Degree Arctic Edge, and I could fill another shelf because there's, uh, like I said, at the house there's a whole dolly full that was, you know, the whole top. That was another freaking four feet of damn degree. So there's way more than where way more where that came from. So uh, right here we shoved that de-icer uh, for now. Just shove the four boxes of it right here. There's like four or five boxes of these um very fancy baby wipes. I got I think one box at the house. I'm gonna take another one um to the house and uh, get them listed. I guess I don't know if I want to do them locally or um that'll be a Facebook market thing or an eBay thing. I kind of got to do a little more checking. So we got bleach here, bleach here. And then this is mixed stuff. It's mostly... I think only one of them's got, like, a mix of bleach in it. The rest of it... This one's, like, all Lysol. Um... Oh, facing the wrong way. All these Lysols. All-purpose cleaners. And then there's, like, a whole box of these. And then there's, like, a mixed... Um, uh, one, I think, back there is the one that's mixed where it's got these and bleach in it. Um, uh, some outdoor power cords extension cords patio cord eight foot ones those will probably just be like a yard sale thing um there's these little kind of like um they say gumball machine they're kind of like a little decorative thing that's what was in these holiday ones um five bucks retail so another like i said yard sale thing these i think a bunch of these are have leaks in them because you, you can compare the heights there's um definitely some missing out of this one so i think they all leak somewhat like, you can see it a little bit right there. So, I think they all leak to some degree. Um, that's that's other inventory. Um, like I said, more bleach. There's, like, the destroyed boxes of the degree that kind of don't fit well on the shelf. These are all the good ones. And these are four deep, too. Too high, four deep. You can see. Four deep. So, and like I said, there's even more at the, there's more at the houses. And not even everything. So, I still have to count... How many boxes there are? I haven't done that yet. So we'll count them up. Um, and then there's some stuff too. These baskets take to the house. Facebook Marketplace, like 20 bucks or something maybe. And then these are not bad for right about now, but they're kind of low in value. Um, three bucks, you can see retail. It's temporary spray on hair color. So you figured for Halloween, this is like a great time for it, except for it's not worth a lot. Um, so I might try on eBay, you know, kind of like... I opened the box upside down, of course, but there's, you know, green, black, and different colors, so I might try and, you know, do little lots or something. I might have to look on Terror Peak to see how they've done, like, previously. Um, but Hide and Eek 
clearly is a Target like thing because I have their dog costumes too in the other Target palette. Still haven't sold any of those. Hoping I can pedal some off, but not looking likely. Oh yeah, there's no data found. Oh no, I knew what this one was. Coffee. But this one actually looks like it won't be it will be pretty good. At least from scanning the um, UPC code. Uh, it's a slug cream. And there's a um, SKU number. Um, it's got two different things on it, but it's only got the one thing on it. It's only got that moisturizing or whatever. So this actually should be pretty good. At least from when I scan the barcode, that should be pretty good. Um, there's another one of the degrees. And we did find one more dub that I didn't grab. But this one, someone done jacked one. And it's only got the one in it, and it didn't fall out or anything. And I'm pretty sure it's not one I opened, so. There's some more of the car ceramic detailer. Um, probably put the rest of this um, in the storage unit. It's uh, uh, probably just going to be like a yard sale thing. But one of those boxes did have a nice little mix of, like, cleaning case back, which is what I was hoping for was in the rest of them. So these two um, Arm & Hammer OxyClean 501 Power Packs, these should be 42 count. These should probably be pretty good. A couple of these jet dry. Um, probably keep those for ourselves. Uh, like I said, there's more of this freaking multi-cleaner. And then a lot of this ribbon crap. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I can't really see it. Curling ribbon. So, so this is stuff that's going to go to the house. And then uh, there's these... Um, shampoos as well. These will probably just be like another yard sale thing. I'll, oh, I gotta look them up first. So that's pretty much is this Target palette. Um, definitely a couple, you know, mysteries, a couple mystery boxes. For but the, for the most part, I knew what was in it from loading it. Like this was a mystery, you know. And this is dumb that they liquidated. Like the box separated a little bit. It's freaking fine. You know, this is something that could have been sold in the store and then like this where there's no damage to it this is one of the things like why was it liquidated unless you know no data found it was just whatever the hell this is whatever just liquidate it be done with it this coffee i don't know i gotta look it up that might i don't know if that's something good uh these purells are not the greatest they're a little like you know put on like your keychain or whatever they're the, the little super little ones uh like i said there's one of the diapers and i think i got one at home but i'm gonna take that with as well and they're one of the other comforters as well so that's like i said i think that's it for the sum target put these back in here these little like floor basket i don't know some young female will probably like those i think it's good decor or something i think it's stupid but whatever the box that came in so like i said i think that'll do it for this target palette i'll do a count of these degree um, and if I remember, I'll put it on the video in the damn truck. If I remember, I'll put it in the video. So other than that, we'll see you guys at the next pellet.